Okay, here we go. UNPL Season 5, Week 4. We finally got a dub last week. We're on the board. I'm actually pretty exhausted today. I gotta go to bed like right after this because I gotta get up super early in the morning. But um, the show must go on, as I say constantly, because we're usually on the bad foot. So he's got Garchomp. I'm not shocked by that. Garchomp, um, Samurott, obviously not a surprise. Metagross is a huge problem for me, honestly. Um, Kilowatt Roll, I also expected. Superior and the cryogonal okay so i think we're gonna stick with our original uh lead plan here with scyther i actually was gonna bring fortress instead of scyther um but at the end of the day i don't know i felt it was too risky he's probably gonna lead it and just click ceaseless edge because i don't have any either of my spinners um that's kind of why i want to go ahead and lead with um lead with the Scyther because we can get big damage on it. Maybe bring something in like uh, Seasler and get a nice like Dire Claw. I eh, would probably just U-turn again, honestly, but um, he can terrestrialize his Cryogonal. Uh, that's of note. Uh, this team was so hard to prep for, man. He had so many good special threats. No Petra Run. Oh, I'm so grateful for that. Um, no Hariyama. So very grateful for that, too. I think we're... Oh, no Indeedee. No Indeedee. That's great. That is fantastic. Okay, so... Uh, good luck. Have fun with my opponent. Let's get this bread, boys. All right. Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Remember, I got to remember to be slow. That's my always my problem. Superior lead. That's even better. Even better. Superior lead versus my Scyther here. Um, I'm not. <laughs> Part of me just wants to hard swords dance. Should I dual wing beat? Actually. Um. He's going to be faster than me. If I U-turn, I can bring in Sneasler if he stays in. I'm going to U-turn. He's not going to stay in. But if he does, I can bring in Sneasler. He might go for a Glare. Um, or, like, even a Leech Seed. I don't know. But either way, we're getting we're getting the heck out of here. Um, and the U-turn, if he stays in, is going to do a lot of damage. So this was a great lead by us. Fantastic lead by us. Um, he's gonna withdraw. Perfect. So we're gonna see. We're gonna get this nice U-turn off. I would love for Metagross. Oh my god, we need as much chip on this as possible, dude. All right, Metagross, real quick. How much damage is gonna do? It did almost. Oh, crit! I'm so sorry, my. I'm so sorry, friend. I'm gonna say, sorry, bro. That crit is big. Uh, let's see what a crit U-turn into Metagross. Um, he's not bulky. He's definitely. He's not particularly bulky. How much is? Sneasler's close cut. Not enough. Not enough. Uh, so we just go into Gliscor, I think, on this. What else is? What else we need Gliscor for? I need to slow down. Um, let's go into Gliscor. I'm hoping this activates my my thing. My poison. Please activate my. Yes. Okay. I wasn't sure how that worked. Okay. Um, the thing is, I, I have to be careful of his. Uh, I have to be very careful of his, um... Man, I say I'm way too much in my videos for... I'm fully aware of that. But, uh, I have to be very nervous of weakness policy. Earthquake, I don't think is gonna get him. That did a lot. That last U-turn did a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna U-turn again. Um... Hoping he switches out into Kilowattrel. Actually, no, because that would... I actually... <laughs> if anything, I would Toxic on that. But, um... Yeah, I actually don't know what I would U-turn into. That would be a problem. He's going to withdraw, so we're just going to keep you turning around, which is nice. It's going to be Kilowattro Pro Cryogonal. Much better. Much better, because that means we get... Well, actually, we don't know... We don't know what this thing's Terra is yet. Otherwise, I would say we can go into... Actually, Cryogonal versus... Sneasler. If you Terra Poison... Are we... Is, this still, is that still enough damage? No, it's probably not. Um... But no matter what you Terra into, man, uh, Incineroar, I need Incineroar for so many things. I'm going to go Incineroar on this. Um, part of me wants to knock off, part of me wants to parting shot and keep that train rolling. He could wait, he could be Terra, no, he's not, he doesn't have Terra Ground. So even if he has Earth Power, we take it well. I didn't give myself a soul fest, did I? No, of course, I had duty boots. Okay. Um, 
I might just knock off. Let's toss out a knockoff. I could potentially parting shot. We're forcing a lot of switches here. This is really good. What, what's going to come in? Garchomp is going to. We're going to. Garchomp's going to lose its item. That's great. And it was. Please be like scarfed, and we got rid of the scarf. That'd be amazing. Leftovers. It's bulky then. Okay. So what did we say? In my spreadsheet. Um, oh, of course, of course. So even if he makes a prediction, I mean, we're, we're okay with, with Weezing. I'm, I'm really glad we got rid of his leftovers. Uh, that's the only thing we've seen. He hasn't clicked a move yet. Leftovers knocked off. He hasn't clicked a move. He hasn't teared yet. We forced a lot of progress already, so this is really good. Um, we know this is not Scarf. That's huge for us because Garchomp, then, as long as we go hard into Weezing on this every time. He can't scale shot and get that speed boost. Latios can come in revenge. I don't care if you click Sword Dance. I don't care whatever you do. Latios can come in revenge. He does Stealth Rock, which seems great against my team in theory, except I am running Heavy Duty Boots on both Incineroar and... Um, I'm running Heavy Duty Boots on Incineroar and Scyther. So now here's the thing. I'm, I'm heavily expecting Metagross to come back out. So I'm going to Will-O-Wisp, because then even if he stays in, we get a burn on Garchomp, that's great. We get a burn on Metagross, that's great. That was the that was the, the strategy here. So he finally got his rocks up. Stealth rocks. Kilowatch was going to get burned. I'll, I'll take that. I'll, that. That's acceptable. That is definitely acceptable. Um, and we go into Gliscor on this. Now, obviously, with the rocks up and it clicking Hurricane, that's going to hurt. Kilo Watchroll um, versus Gliscor. Hurricane does half, so with Stealth Rock, uh, guaranteed three KO. We do not get two at KO'd, guaranteed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Gliscor. I'm assuming he clicks Hurricane here, but that's the thing. We don't even get two shot by Hurricane, and Hurricane has a huge mischance. So I, I like my chances here. Um, obviously, things could go sideways, but um, we'll have to see what he does. We'll have to see what happens here. He does kick the, kick the hurricane. It was very obvious. And how much I can do? Yep, see, we're fine. We're fine. Poison is going to bring us back up. Uh, what did he bring on, in on this last time? What did he... We U-turned into... Um, he brought the Cryogonal in, I think. Was it? Um... Do I get my rocks now? Do I U-turn? Um, let's see. No, I kind of want to be in. So I'm going to click Stealth Rock. I kind of want to be in versus this. He's going to stockpile. What? <laughs> what kind of set is this, dude? Oh, now the burn actually kind of sucks because I want him to... Oh, now the burn kind of sucks, not going to lie. That's a good set. Oof, that's a good set. I don't have a good way to hit this. Um, what's your item? What do we do versus this now? Um, Latios, is, Latios is a good switch for this. He's going to burn a lot of my... Like, if he keeps stocking up, he, he's going to do a lot to Latios, but we are a salt vest because we, I knew that um, Kilowatcher was going to be a problem and I might need a couple things to, to check it. Um, Hurricane's going to come out again. It's going to do damage, but not too much. So you, he's getting, you know, he's chipping us a little bit. Uh, let's see, Kilowattro at plus one Spadef. Uh, versus Latios. Ice Beam should, well, I don't know. I'm going to go into, into Latios, click Ice Beam. He doesn't have a lot of good switches. So I can drop a Draco on him. Like, I, he doesn't actually have a good switch to Ice Beam here, honestly. And it looks like he's in range of an Ice Beam, even at plus one. He'd have to be very, very bulky. He'd have to be very, very bulky to live this. He could paralyze us. Honestly, that would suck. But we're getting good chip on things, so... The end game is for Sneasler. Sneasler is what we do not want to get paralyzed. Oh, if he roosts here... Hmm, maybe I should have dropped a Draco. Yeah, I should have dropped a Draco. Because he could roost here, and then he's not going to take as much. He's not going to take anything. He's going to U-turn. 
But he's the burn means he's not going to take much. Okay, good. So whatever comes in, uh, he, he's probably heavy duty boots on that. I don't, I'm not sure. But whatever comes in is going to eat the ice beam. Cragnall, that makes sense. Now the question is, are you choice? You're uh, you're not heavy duty boots. Nice. We're gonna get that nice damage. Another crit. Uh, that one doesn't matter so much. The first one on on uh, the other guy definitely mattered. Um, I think we just go back into Saba here. The thing is, I can't risk. Let's see. I could just drop a Draco. Let's see. Um, Cryogonal. Freeze dry is only doing a third to me, but I need this to be able to check. Yeah, I need it as a check to, um, you know, the, that other Pokemon there. Wait, please tell me I went into the right Pokemon. I went into Saba. I think I did. I think I clicked Incineroar. Oh, please tell me I clicked Incineroar. Did I click Weezing on accident? Oh, no. No, no. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. So we're going to reveal our heavy-duty boots here. Um, he's going to spin away the rocks. Interesting. And last time, what did he go into on this? He went into Kilowatt Roll. So I'm going to Parting Shot this time. We're going to Parting Shot this time. He, There's no way he goes into um, Superior. And if he does go into the Metagross, that's okay. Because we can... Like, those are the two things that would be a problem for Parting Shot. So I actually kind of want him to go back to Kilowatt Roll while we get out. Although he could, now that he's speed boosted, he could stay in. This is this is dangerous now that it's got the speed boost. I'm not going to lie. So maybe I should have just clicked Knock Off. Okay, good. He does switch. I would love to see the Kilowatt Roll again. Garchomp. Okay. That's fine. We can go right back into Latios and click Ice Beam again. Piece of cake, Quill. Piece of cake, Quill. Um, yes, that is what we want to do. We know that the Kill Watcher is not Scarf, so that means Fake Out. The Fake Out Sneasler tech is going to be great for us here. Uh, we're just gonna ice beam again. I don't. I don't. He doesn't have an item. He will die to this, and he doesn't have a good switch in. Cragonal will die on reentry. I think Latios is about to put in some serious work. How am I gonna go to bed after this, dude? The blood is pumping. <laughs> I just imagine people who don't know I play competitive Pokemon like laughing at a grown man. Blood is pumping over poke, dude. It's real though. It's real. It's for real. This game is competitive. Pokemon's a thing, man. Anyway, as I'm sure everyone watching this video is aware. So what's gonna come take the ice beam? Superior's gonna eat an ice beam. Let's go. And your heavy duty boots. Big damage, dude. Um. Okay. What does Superior got for me? Superior Smogon. Hold on. What does Superior even get for me? Again, you could glare me. That would kind of suck. That would kind of suck. Um, yeah, knock off. You could knock off. But I could get rid of this. Um, I think we just go Scyther and be safe. Well, is that really safe, though? Yeah, I'm doing it. That was the game plan. We have heavy duty boots. Rocks don't matter for Scyther right now. And this is the position we were in at the beginning of the game when we were in a great spot. Um, oh, he's going to knock off the... Yeah, that was actually not great. Because now Scyther doesn't have a lot. I can't get rid of the rocks. Um, last time, he went into Cryogonal. He can't do that this time. I'm going to Trailblaze this turn. Because I don't think you can do anything to me. I'm going to Trailblaze... On the switch. He does glare me. Okay. So I could have killed this. That's unfortunate. Um, but that's okay. Oh, man. If I had U-turn, this thing would be dead. Uh, nothing really wants to take a dual wing beat either, right? 
Yeah, we're going to just... I think it's time for Scyther to stay in and... Oh, Reflect is not good. Well, Scyther's going to get a KO, so we'll take that. Scyther KOs. That, that is bad. That's scary. Uh, Serp with Dual Wing Beat. Okay. Now Scyther's served its purpose. Uh, so even without the Heavy Duty Boots, honestly, I'll just probably U-turn on whatever comes in. Um, although that's dangerous because depending on what comes in. Yeah, we're going to have to find out. Um, Sneasler's looking good, though. We just have to be afraid of, like, something that gets a speed boost. Um, Samurott could be Scarf, but that's fine. Metagross, yeah, actually, honestly, we might win already with Fake Out Sneasler. We probably need a little more chip on the Metagross. We just need to wait for the... And we saw that was Heavy Duty Boots. We 100% saw this was Heavy Duty Boots. Our chomp comes out, we just hard into... I'm not even going to risk the paralysis. Hard into Snoop on this. Not even going to risk the paralysis. I don't care that Scyther has to take rocks. I'm not letting you scale shot. You do not get to scale shot versus me, sir. Stone Edge comes out, that's fine. That doesn't... Oh, that was a crit, but hey, that that's a fair crit. You know what I'm saying? Like, Stone, Stone Edge has a high crit chance as it is. Um, last time I clicked Will-O-Wisp... Uh, oh yeah, if I miss this goddamn move, I, people have been harassing me about running Dazzling Gleam instead because it's not 95 accuracy. Um, I'm in a strange team this time because I want damage on whatever. I want, if, if Metagross comes in, that's fantastic. If uh, whatever happens here, Street, strange team is great. I should live in Iron Head. Um, and even if I don't, again, Latios can come in revenge. Go ahead and go into Kilowattrol and give me the big damage. Big damage. Come on, come on, come on. Is he going to take rocks? He isn't, so he's heavy duty boots. Strange team did a good chunk. Did not get the confusion, but we didn't miss. That's more important. This is heavy duty boots. Um, he's probably just going to roost. Um, would be my guess. So if he roosts... Um, do we want to go hard Latios? And drop a Draco, maybe? I like that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go hard Latios and drop a Draco. This is a little bit dangerous because we're gonna take rocks and Hurricane's not gonna tickle. But I'd be kind of surprised if he just let me claim this right now. I'm assuming Roost is coming out. Yep. Um. So what have we seen on this? Heavy duty boots, Hurricane, Roost, um, stockpile. Yeah, now we do Latios things, where we click Draco Meteor, and at that point, now we do Latios things, drop in a Draco, let's pray we don't miss, this is a big Draco here. The U-turn comes out, um, again, this is a big Draco here, last time I Ice Beamed, I'm guessing Metagross is not going to take a Draco into a Shadow Ball, either. I mean, nothing on his team. He doesn't have his Fairy, so... He could go Cryogonal. That would be a good play. Although, if it dies to Rocks, then maybe that would not be... Because then I get my free... I don't know if it dies to Rocks. I'm not sure. Oh, he doesn't write. Rocks aren't up yet. Or anymore. He, he spun those away. So, either way, if something has to eat a Draco, as long as we don't miss. And now I've spoken it to life because I've said it too many times. I've said it way too many times. And please, God, just tell me he's thinking about what wants to take a Draco because a disconnect here would be awesome. Oh, and I just spoke that to life too, dude. Stop speaking it to life. Maybe if I say speak it to life so many times, it'll counteract the speak it to life. All right, this should die. As long as we connect. Yes, okay. Latios, Chaos, what? <laughs> okay, well, we should be faster. Um... We should be faster. What can he ter terrestrialize into? It doesn't really matter because I should be. I am. I am. Actually, we know we're faster. Um, or do we? This is dangerous. This is very dangerous here. Can you imagine he doubles in a guard chop. 
I can't believe that thing lived. It must be a salt vest. Probably AV. Um, I guess I could run a calc on that real quick. I probably went too quickly there. Oh, no. Actually, if it is a soul fest, is that not going to kill? Yeah, no. Even under a soul fest, ice beams will at least 5%. 6%, 7%. 7%. Um, he's going to withdraw. Oh, my God. Please go into the guard chomp. Metagross. I don't care. I'll take the chip. I'll take the chip, dude. Now you're getting close to range. Do I let Eon McKellen go down so I can get damage on? No, no, no. Because we can't. At minus two, that's way too dangerous. This is a little scary. Because if he clicks agility right now, that could be a problem. Um. Oh, he, he wasn't heavy duty boots. What? Oh, I keep forgetting I spun it away. I'm okay. Now, okay, let's just see here. Metagross versus Latios Shadow Ball. If I'm minus two. Yeah, nope. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch. Actually, can we flip turn? He might bullet punch though. We don't want to go down to a bullet punch. So we're gonna go into Eclipse. Um, actually, you know what? Scyther is kind of losing its purpose here. So we're gonna go Scyther. Scyther is not super important anymore. So it's not really a sack sack, but I'm not gonna let the Metagross get. He could click agility here, and that'd be very scary. Stone Edge comes out. That's fine. That's fine. Metagross KOs Scyther with Stone Edge. Now, now that we're not at minus two, a Shadow Ball should KO you from this range now. Oh no, but Bullet Punch! Yeah, that was a bad play. Bullet Punch will probably knock me out. And you know he's got it. That was a dumb play. That was a really dumb play. I gotta save Eon McKellen here. We're gonna go into Saba. That that was a dumb play for me. Really dumb. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it throw me off though, because I had to get Latios out of there. I had to get Latios out of there. We know the clear body, that's fine. Um bullet punch, yep. Yep. Although, hey, you could say I was scouting for Bullet Punch. <laughs> um, now here, do we knock off? No, because I'm still afraid of... No, knock off would, would KO, though. So, we will knock off. Metagross is in range now of the Sneasler, so... Garchomp's gonna come out. Yeah, I should've seen that coming, actually. Good damage, Incineroar. And I just, I'm not messing around with this thing. So at some point here, I think I can just go into Sneasler and win the game. I think. I think. The only problem is if Samurai, Samurai is like Choppleberry, that would be a problem. Oh, we got Cryogonal down, right? Um, actually, I totally forgot. I'm, I'm totally spacing on that, if we got Kraggle down or not. Okay, this is a good game. This is a good game. I think we both... Uh, I applied good pressure early, and now my opponent's applying good pressure now. Um, yeah, Snoop is running out of energy here, but I can't let him scale shot. That's the thing. Stone Edge comes out. He's going to miss. Um, I feel bad about the miss. Uh, but obviously, he's clicked a bunch of those moves. He's clicked Stone Edge several times. It also has a very high miss rate. So, um, let's see. We did not get Cryogonal yet. So, I will Strange Team again. I think Garchomp is in range. I think everything's in range. Kilowatch will come up. Please, please. Oh, you're probably still high HP, though. Yeah. Strange Team. Confusion would be nice. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> the question is, are you going to roost this time again? Um, this time I can't sack the Scyther. This is actually kind of annoying. This Pokemon is my biggest problem right now. 
A strange team again. On his roost. Yeah, Kilowattro's a problem now. Well, not really, actually, because Sneezer still beats it. Good damage. Good damage. Still no confusion. That's okay. Do I need this low? How low do I need it for, for Sneasler? Um, Kilo Watro. Dire Claw does 70%. Fake out into Dire Claw. Uh, definitely kills it. Um... I don't like this play. I don't like this play. I had to apply a little pressure, so hopefully he clicked. Well, now he can roost on the... Ooh, we could catch him on the roost, though. Have him click, a, like, a Thunderbolt right now would be great. Not Hurricane. <laughs> would be great. He does roost again. Okay. Um, I think I go for it with Sneasler now. I think I kind of have to. The way that he's reserving the um, Samurai, I'm pretty sure I'm scared now that it is Choppleberry. Um, uh, I guess I'll click U-turn in case he switches, but he's going to... Oh, oh, the right. That's how he beats... Um, yeah, that makes sense. Ah, this Kilowatt was a problem. What a good set, dude. Stockpile? What a good set, man. Um, uh, this is this is a good good set. I can't fault him for that. Actually, if he's at plus one, can I still get him with Sneasler? Fake out in a dark light? I think so. I think I'm going to go for it. And we're going to go for it now because he might be able to stop me. He might be able to stop me with, with Samurott. Okay, here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. Yo, if he's Covert Cloak, that would be nuts. I just thought of that. No, we saw it was Heavy Duty Boots. Right? Yeah, we, we, we wrote down that it was Heavy Duty Boots anyway. Please stand. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. But this is great, because now if I can keep this thing low, I'm going to go ahead and Dire Claw. Um... Because I don't want to lower my defenses. We're going to Dire Claw. He'd be smart to switch out, honestly. Because I can't do that again. And then Kilowattro becomes a huge problem. So I need him to stay in. If he's smart, he switches out. I need him to stay in. If he switches out, I have a huge problem. I might lose. I might lose to this set. What a good bring, dude. What a good bring. You can't be mad about losing a heat like that. Let's go! Okay, that's huge. Now we don't have to worry about the, the Dire Claw thing either. Or the, the fake out. Sneasler, KOs, Kilo with Dire Claw. That's massive. Absolutely massive. Because now if he goes hard into Samurott, I can U-turn out because I still outspeed everything. If he goes into Samurott, I'm going to expect the Choppleberry. And I'll U-turn instead. Because I don't need the speed boost anymore. Unless Samurott's Scarf. So it could be Scarf Sam, but if it's Scarf Samurott... He goes into Garchomp. Oh, I see, because I have to close combat. Garchomp. Oh, Tank Chop might tank this, actually. Damn, I thought, oh, I must have calced on. I think he did that because he, he knows he lives. We're going to U-turn because he knows he lives. 
Oh, maybe not. Shit. That did more than I thought. I could have close combat. I probably just lost. <laughs> I might have just choked. Tank Chomp, though, you know, might beat that. All right, we go to Stoop, though. I don't want you get. Now I really can't let him get a speed boost. Okay, Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail. Um. Now do you go? Oh, nothing. Now a Will O Wisp. Yeah, Will O Wisp is fantastic on anything now. Great. I would love to go have you go into Metagross. He's going to spikes. He's trying to weaken it to get in range of um, a bullet punch. That's a smart play. And we miss our Will-O-Wisp. We miss the Will-O-Wisp. That's awful, dude. Absolutely terrible. No! Wrong move! Wrong move! No, dude! Please switch. Oh my god, I misclicked. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Dude, that that's terrible. That was a terrible, terrible move by me. Um. Okay, that those last couple of turns suck. We're in a strange team now. He's gonna Stone Edge. Now we're gonna get rid of Chomp. Um. Those spikes are not good. What? He lived? Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> what is going on in this game? What is going on in this game? This is wild. So now he's going to come out again. It's going to weaken me. Are we going to miss Strange Team? Yo, dude. This wheezing. This wheezing is, is not... Half of it was me. This is why I run Dazzling Gleam, by the way. This is why I run Dazzling Gleam. Oh my god. Weezing KOs Chomp with um, Strange Team. Oh my god, dude. That's nuts. Okay, what remains? Samurott, Metagross, Cryogonal. Actually, Incineroar is fantastic right now. With the heavy-duty boots, the spikes doesn't matter. Um, Samurott's going to be annoying for that, but we can intimidate it, hopefully. And hopefully, he might have, like, Aqua Putter or something. I don't know. It seems like a close game to me, man. Samurott comes out. I'm going to go ahead and Willowis. Actually, I'm not even going to bother Willowis. We just want a strange team to knock you out if we can. He's going to flip turn. Oh, we don't live that. Shoot. Okay. Samurott. KO's wheezing with flip turn. And that wouldn't have been a problem if I wasn't an idiot. We wouldn't have needed to strange team twice. Dude, that's going to cost me the game. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now that's going to cost me the game. That's going to cost me the game. Because I misclicked. Man. That Weezing would have been fantastic here. He would... Oh, no. I mean, Metagross is still a problem for it. That's true. That's a huge... That's a huge problem, though. Shoot. Okay. What do you got for me? Cryogonal comes out. That means we go Latios. And it's Latios' last... Uh, last ringer here. Yeah, we go Latios on this, because Latios can't do anything else anymore now. The other two Pokemon for sure have priority. We've seen we've seen the bullet punch. Um No reason not to just Shadow Ball. Hopefully he goes into Metagross and tries to preserve this. That'd be so nice. But it doesn't make sense for him to hard switch into it, so. Latios is going to get another one. Latios KOs Cryo with Shadow Ball. And we're going to have to let this go down to the Metagross now. Now, what do we do versus the Metagross is the question. Um, actually, I think we bring in Sneasler. Well, I don't know. 
Samurott. Um, no, we want Samurott Haisui. Let's call you the Choice Scarf set. Razor Shell will probably pick off Sneasler at this range. We know you're bullet punching, but I don't care. We're going to Shadow Ball you. If you don't bullet punch, maybe you'll misclick like I did. <laughs> um, this is going to come down to it, man. I'm telling you. Actually, how much is Aqua Jet doing? I think I have a way to win this now. Aqua Jet is only doing a quarter to Sneasler. So here's what we do. We scout for the Scarf. He's going to kill me here. I go into Sneasler. Whoa, he's going to let me take it. Yo. Okay. Barrios KOs Metagross with Shadow Ball. I don't know if he misclicked there. Samurott. We're going to find out if you're Scarf right now. Maybe Samurott wins. I'm not thinking too much about it. My play is always the Draco Meteor here. And we missed the Draco! Are you serious, dude? Dude, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Draco almost always kills, I think. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so first thing is to go Intimidate it. He's not Scarf. Which means... He could be Choppleberry. We go get the Intimidate off. Actually, let's get two Intimidates off. Or no, do we want something that we can U-turn into? We know he's not Scarf. We already know he's not Scarf. So... We go into Gliscor. Um, Samurott. Kaos Latios with Aqua. We let him get me. Samurott is going to KO Gliscor with Aqua Cutter. Do I two-shot this with a U-turn? Yes. Okay. That's how we win this game, no matter what. No matter what he does, he's at minus one. So Aqua Jets are doing not very much at all. Um. Yeah. Two Aqua Jets are doing 50, though. Shoot. How does Incineroar take a minus two Aqua Cutter? Are we just hoping it doesn't crit? He's taking it as long as it doesn't crit, but it has a high crit chance. Um, I think because of the spikes, I can't do it. I have to close combat. How much is Dire Claw doing? Uh, well, Close Cog gets him if he's not. We win right now if he's not Chobbleberry. He's not. Is he Focus Ash? Oh, so all that for nothing, dude. Sneasler KOs Samurott with CC, and that's a good win. Hey, we got two wins in a row, boys. Good game to my opponent. That was a really, really good game. Um, hey, that's two on the board. Sneezer cleaning up again, dude. Latios put in the work there big time, too, man. Latios doing Latios things. So obviously, I almost lost there on my misclick, and I also almost lost by playing around a, a pretend Chapelberry. <laughs> um, but hey, we, we pulled out the win. Um, we didn't we didn't choke to, to imagining that Chapelberry, and uh, awesome, dude. <laughs> That puts us at two and two. That puts us right back in the thick of things. I've been taking a little more time to do my prep, and I think it's paying off so far. So good game to my opponent. We'll catch you next week.